Hey people, Positive Paul, and it is Sunday, October 29th, 2023, and I, I was trying to wrap my mind around how social media functions, and how, how many people actually are using social media. So, as we know, there's a debt clock that people routinely check in with on a daily basis, and there's also a population counter. Now, from the other day, we have to just use United States as the example right now. Since uh, I'm an American, I was born in Washington, D.C., 1966. But when we look at America's current population, which changes daily, we know that people are dying and people are being born. So we're, we're at about 340 million. Now, a study from 2021 states that whatever the population was back then, it, it would have been just under the 340 mark, that 22% of that number are individuals 18 and under. So we will exclude them from this talk right now. And when you look at these numbers, we ask ourselves, how many Americans are really using social media? Now, we know social media predominantly is only used for entertainment. Uh, if you're on YouTube, we also know that if you use the two main popular social media sites, meaning Facebook, YouTube, and I guess you could say Twitter, but we know that these platforms, when you try to use them to present evidence that adversely affects the controllers of social media, that you will be met with roadblocks, you will be met with extreme censorship, and it's almost, <laughs> when you look at this, the reason why this happens, and one could say, man, do these do these." Groups, these individuals, these controllers, do they have a guilty conscience about something that they need to continually try to cover up? Well, I guess one would conclude yes, but the amazing part is since day one, specifically in the, in the past decade, we know that this is the case, but yet... They have complete unopposed control because these internet social media platforms were designed and set up for more nefarious purposes that most people would say, nah, the, the, YouTube and Facebook are not some CIA uh, concoction because the reality is they cannot get a handle on the amount of individuals that, well, know too much. And you cannot have these Freemason, sad sack, Edomite Satanist running around trying to control all these individuals, trying to keep up with what they are up to because there's just not enough boots on the ground. So what they cleverly did, and this, this is all part of the great deception, with their technological advances, they've come up with social media. And you know what? They, they let the American population do their job for them. Now, 
One says, well, look, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not committing any crimes. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a racist. I'm not a white supremacist. So why do I care if they're, they're watching what I'm doing or they're monitoring the information that I put out on social media? If you take that view, if that, that is something that you believe in, you got to go, go back and check yourself. Because what this does is it puts you in direct opposition into this so-called constitutional republic and what the Fourth Amendment is all about. And actually the, the First Amendment, I'm sorry, First Amendment, freedom of speech. So I look at this and I'm trying to understand what has happened since I've been involved with social media. Now... Initially, I used it for about a year to research some certain issues that concern myself, but it wouldn't really be until the summer of 2016 when I started to actually use it, meaning Facebook and YouTube, and had no clue what I was getting myself into. I, I was, I tell you, uh, you know, wide-eyed uh, optimist about this, thinking that I'm going to go on there, I'm going to find like-minded people, be able to share information, but also defend myself in the process of the, the uh, well, not constant non-stop uh, slandering of myself, Paul Wilson Linder Jr., and it started up up in San Diego, and you know, now I've, as you all well know, I'm in Rosarito Beach, Mexico. These Satanists have been camped out down here, buying everybody off, turning them into snitches, that I'm a big boogeyman, that I need to be looked after. Well, the cartel runs around amok, doing all their little dirty deeds done dirt cheap with the devil. And when you watch this, this is what drives people crazy, all right? So what the ones that are able to get through all this minutia and, and not give up, all right? We have to compartmentalize the fact that, yes, these sad sack Satanists will continually try to cover their tracks and there's not much we can do about it. We can, you know, report and let, you know, the chips fall where they may. But again, to be able to use social media... And use it at, at, against the controllers. It just, you're spinning. We are spinning our wheels for the most part. So when we look at this population situation, if 22% are 18 and under, um, simple math will knock that number down to at least 220 million individuals that may or may not be using social media. So now what I came across, and I, I, I really find this fascinating because Pew Research has done a study. It was from back in October of 2022. Now the reason why they didn't use Facebook and YouTube is because those two social media platforms are just so far above and beyond the ones that are included in their study that the, the metrics that it, you, you know you're comparing apples to oranges because YouTube you know has uh, essentially you know gone up into the billions of users but the people that actually have channels it looks like as of uh, today when I looked at the app it said 33 million so you know, I, I don't know what the real numbers are, but either way, it's apples and oranges. So what Pew Research did, they took seven other sites, which are right here, Gab, Gitter, Parlor, which I'm unfamiliar with. We know about Rumble because once a bit shoot, you know, quickly as YouTube outlived their usefulness, you know, they had us all scattering and moving us to BitChute first. And then BitChute seemed 
that have some issues, not quite sure what their deal is, but then all of a sudden, we all needed to go to Rumble. And then you see Telegram and Truth Social. So, my concern is more with BitChute. Now, we know on BitChute that you have some of the most <clears throat> evil, some of the most nasty individuals that are on BitChute, and... I'll break them down into three categories. The first one is going to be the nameless, faceless, useless, dopey comment perp that would uh, be involved with these, well, so-called well-intentioned uh, intelligence agencies wherever, wherever they're at around the globe, but there is a whole perp army that they or on social media and they'll they'll be assigned uh the case their case assignments will will essentially when someone like myself that that they can no longer control they will surround the individual that is trying to use the social media platform adversely against the controllers and they will be there to aggravate them. They will be there to uh, mislead, misinform them, disinformation agents. We know all about that. So you have that aspect. Now you will have actually do-gooders that think they've got something figured out. It's not that they're bad people. It's just that we live in a world where we are inundated with so much information and it's difficult to get to the truth, get to the bottom of the matter. And so these do-gooders can be confused about certain issues such as the secret space program, uh, such as time travel, such as MK Ultra, mind control. And they will constantly use the same information, the one clue that will point out these types is that, and I'll, I'll, I'll speak, the example is MK Ultra. Now, for these people that run their yaps about MK Ultra, the only people that they can use are these, uh, what, what's her name, Kathy O'Brien types. And they seem to be more females, but they just go back to the same old tired stuff. And they have nothing new to offer. I mean, if you pay attention long enough, you'll realize that they're not helping out the people that are, are being, their lives are being adversely affected. And they chose social media because there is no legal system for uh, such as a satanic ritual abuse survivor, an MK Ultra survivor. A targeted individual, if you want to classify yourself at that. But... The thing of it is, we know that these people are not bad people. So now let's go to the third group, the bad ones, the bad apples, that they're actually, they get up each day. They plot, plan, regroup, recruit. They find out how to spread disinformation. They surround themselves, surround the individuals that actually have the real information and then they take that they use it as their own pretending that they know something when they're just a useful tool so you know bit shoot man i tell you looking at some of the comments the childlike comments the hateful spiteful mean-spirited comments uh that you, that you see on bit shoot wow it's just amazing and youtube it was that way, but they kind of got a handle on that. And it's amazing over on YouTube. Nobody is allowed to comment on my videos. Um, Auntie Green, always nice to see you, my dear. Uh, mucho gracias. Many blessings to you and your family. Jude, of course. Um, and, uh, there, you know, there, there's quite a few others. Um, Stephanie out there in Australia shows up every now and then. Uh, great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um, uh, Mighty Mongoose, uh, I look, I know, I know what you're going through out there. 
and my prayers are with you, and there's others. But we have to ask ourselves if there is such um, a blowback to the information that some of us provide to uh, incite these hateful, mean-spirited comments, how... You know, the only other way, I guess, would be if you have money, you just have your own website and you have a way to market it. Because other than that, we're, we're, we're stuck with these social media platforms. Other than, uh, you know, what do they tell us, folks? We think globally, but we act locally, right? We could stand out in the corner with our signs and our banners and shout at the top of the rooftops that, you know, the world's going to hell on a handbasket and get ready. But again, you know, people, they can only take so much of the chicken little. And they stick their head in the sand. And that, that, that's really the, uh, the main effect of, of, of this is, is turning people off to the truth, all right? So let's look at this. What I wanted to know is, I want to know how many people are actually using BitChute because it, it's very uh, disconcerting for me to, to see like some of the people that use my information and they have, I mean, look, they're, they're almost, some of them are up over 100,000 subscribers, uh, tens of thousands. And their authenticity, their character, their integrity are, are all put into question. And then you have the fact that, you know, if, I, if I, can, I can get myself to do a video, which is tough anymore nowadays, due to my health, which I never really talk about, but it's, they've, they've really done, done some damage. So... Who is using BitChute? But let's look at this. Now, I want to come up here, and I think you all can see that. Let me, let me see. Let's just start off. Okay. Who has heard of Parler? Well, 38% has heard of Parler. What about Truth Social? Only 27%. Well, I, I tell you what there, uh, Mr. Trump, the snuffle up, I guess. You, you're... You got to get, you got to, you know, beef up your marketing plan there or something. Telegram's the same, 27. Rumble, 20%. Gab, 11%. Gitter, 10%. And now look at BitChute. Lowly BitChute, only 7% of the people in America have heard of BitChute. Now, when I saw that, I tell you, it made my heart sink because I use BitChute quite often. I don't know what else. You know, I'm at my wit's end. I, I look, I've all my information stands. I, I'm not. I'm not one of these ones that put videos up and then pull them down. All right. I can. I, I look. It's so crazy that, look, the people that are in opposition to me and are there to aggravate me, they make it obvious. They have to. They've got no choice. And I could go on the attack. You've seen me go on the attack, people. I've got no problem pointing these assholes out. Remember, I've lost everything. They can't do anything to me anymore. There's nothing. They took away my ability to make money. They're, you know, in the process of trying to get me on the street, destroy my family. They've got these Mexicans bought off down here in Rosarito. And wherever else I go, it has nothing to do with Mexico. I'm just here because my son's mother is from here. And that's unfortunate for these people, I guess. But look, they benefit it. Look, you should see it. They got, man, people moving down here left and right. They've got this economy. Satan has flooded all this money in. They're doing all this work, trying to keep up with the population explosion. Everybody, you know, it's just, man, the sky's the limit, right? But is it? So 7% of Americans only know about BitChute. Now, this is really bad now. What about the ones that regularly get news on these sites? 
Look at this numbers here. Come down to bit shoot. 1% of Americans go on bit shoot. So see, this explains why I can't get any traction on bit shoot concerning Americans because what I enjoy about bit shoot are the people around the globe that have picked up on me. Canada in particular, Patrick, hope you're doing well, buddy. Um, you're always, you know, you helped me out. You stepped up to the plate and helped me out when I asked for help way back when. And there's other Canadians. Where, where, waking up from the dream, I see all your supportive comments. God bless you. There's others. And then, again, in Australia. And I know there's some people in Europe watching. So, in, in England. All right? Now, let's let's move on real quick. Okay, so overall, 7% of U.S. adults say they've heard of BitChute, but only 1% regularly get news there. Now, let's, uh, how do I want to wrap this up? Okay, get news from more established social media sites down here. So 31% is on Facebook, YouTube 25%. 14% for Twitter. Now, what, what with these raw numbers from Pew Research, which is supposed to be a very reputable uh, research organization, what is this telling us? That no one gives a fuck about social media. No one gives a fuck about anybody's problems. It's me, myself, and I. All right? If it's not in my backyard, I don't fucking give a shit. See, this is why the world will be brought down to its knees and humbled before the Holy One of Israel because you're all a bunch of spoiled little brats. And now see what they're doing, these Satanists, the ones, the countries that have been left poor, tired, hungry, uh, oppressed. Finally, finally, they're getting, the, it's their time. Because look, the Satanists, I got to use Mexico as an example. They don't want these Mexicans waking up to how the world operates. They don't get it. They don't understand that the WEF and the WHO has essentially, through the United Nations, taken over their country. And China is, is here, camped out too, preparing to, you know what? They don't get that. They just see, oh, wow, new streets. We got street lights. Hey, look, wow, well, we got sewer systems. We got water now. It's 2024 almost, folks. So f to have these countries around the world left in this condition, there's only one answer of why that is. All right? It didn't have to be that way. And then to blame all this on, what, the white supremacist, right? Folks, you get rid of all the white people and the world's a perfect place. Well, okay, good luck with that. So do you see that nobody, nobody really gives a fuck about social media unless they can make money from it. Now, you would think my situation with these implants, these Satanists that I've been squawking about for eight years, Uncle Carl, Bush, Kissinger, all these other fuckheads, that somebody would be curious enough to come down here and, you know, but there's only one side of the story, folks. Do you see how this works? And then if you have money and you can actually get a lazy lying lizard lawyer that's got balls, they could have the case of the century. You know what's crazy with these Mexicans down here? They've got, they got the goods in me against the very people they hate and they're taking money from to follow me around and play games with me, stalk me, harass me. But do you think they'd come to me, start asking questions like, why in the hell are we still doing this eight years later? Because they make money off me, Jacob. And it, it, somewhere else in the world, they could be in Europe somewhere, England, Germany, France, Canada. Somebody's going through this same thing, and I don't know who they are. This is the sad part. So... Let's let's look at this. Which social media platforms are most popular? Well, look, we know Facebook off the top, but over here, look where they they got this chart. Facebook pin 
Pinterest, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, WhatsApp, Reddit, TikTok, Nextdoor at the bottom. All right. Well, you know, so what, what would what would how would it help me if I took my information over on, uh, well, I don't know, Twitter? What do you think would happen? Because X, like Elon Musk, right? He, 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 he's someone, he's a proponent for free speech. He's against censorship. Well, <laughs> okay. So let's wrap this up. You, you people kind of understand this. I'm starting to get a headache. This stuff makes me sick to my stomach. About a year ago on BitChute, it was saying I was up over 1,100 subscribers. Now, if you look at it today, I think it said 279. So I don't understand how this works. I mean, I do. But if my, inform right? if my information's no good, you would think that these asshole controllers of social media would want the world to see what a crackpot I am. But that's not the case. So, you know, again, it's not about me. It's about bringing people to Christ, having our peace of mind that when we wake up, we live in a world where we can feel good about one another. Do you realize this is what the peaceful kingdom is going to be like? No more racism, folks. It won't exist. You won't even remember this. There'll be no more hate, no more crime, no more war. I don't know if you understand that. And if God can create heaven and earth and everything else in six days, he can do it all over again. That's what the new Jerusalem is about, the river of life. And some of you aren't going to be there, especially you bit shoot types. I can tell you that. That's not for you. So let's do one more thing before I go. Hold on, please. I was able to find only one video from 2016. And my buddy Jude, with his handiwork, he took the very short clip that came off of my Sony camera. And we're going to look at this right now. This concerns the flyovers. Now there's the blue un underbelly, American, Nazi, Edomite, Satanist, Reptoid, Perplane. Get that through your heads, people. Okay, this is in Rosarito. And I have the SD card. This is from November of 2016. Now let's, let's do this. Let's go back real quick. Right, I want to, let's see. Stop it right there. All right. There is a little dot that keeps following along the perp plane, if that is a perp plane, a hologram. You know, hey, look, we just, for the sake of argument, perp plane. But what I want to show you is you're going to see it start to light up and separate into two distinct craft. Uh, I don't know what to say, what it is, but just let's take a look. There it goes. Now watch this. Ah, right. Okay, see how it's separating into two? Ah, I don't like... There we go. Get rid of that glare. Okay, here we go. We got it. See that? What's that about, folks? So this was off my Sony camera, and the flyovers started July 14th, 2016, and they continue unabated to this day. I'm waiting for some screwball from Homeland Security, FBI, that are camped out down here in Rosarito that control these Mexicans that don't want to come face me because these Satanists, they, they don't want to face me. And so the Mexicans only know that they just got to keep an eye on me and they make money off me. But 
See, I'm start. They're starting to expose themselves down here, and I will once again, for only one more time, go over the stalking and harassment operation that goes on down here now. Essentially, in its eighth year in this location, it started up in San Diego. I never once dreamed about going on social media, squawking about my problems. I was trying to figure it out and keep under the radar because my life was put in danger. When you've been poisoned, when you uh, can certainly recognize when someone's trying to kill you, then you start to proceed in a whole different manner. And this is how I will end this for you social media frauds. Remember, when your money, your security, your uh, ability to, to make money is all taken away and you're facing homelessness, well, you're going to start to think a lot different. Your behavior will change. And I can tell you, it ain't going to be fun. So get ready.